since Jonathan was in the top 10, let's chat at Jonathan. Yeah, man. So talk about the month and getting on into the top 10. You did like some annuities, right? Yeah, those were three annuities. These were a few referrals. And yeah, so and one thing that I'm working on is capitalizing on these types of clients, the ones that are retiring, need help moving retirement money. Uh, a lot of them end up just leaving it where it's at. So going fishing for it is actually good for them. So starting to ask those questions and ask the people that I'm currently helping do you know anybody else in this situation? Anyone else that's coming up on retirement? Anyone else that's over the age of 59 and a half that's thinking about retirement soon? But yeah, those were three annuities. So talk about how are you finding, like when you get in a conversation with someone, how do you fish for money? Like when you say fishing for money, what are the yeah. conversations that you get into with people? Because I know everyone out there knows people and I'm sure, sure everyone out there knows people in the same situation that you've been finding people. Yeah. So what are ways for them to capitalize on the relationships when it comes to helping people, you know, do something yeah. with their money. Yeah. So I really want to know about a few things. I want to know about their family. I want to know what they did for a living. How many times did they change careers? Did they ever own any businesses? It tends to be people that own businesses have a little bit more money sitting there in retirement. They tend to have some of the higher nest eggs. So those are some good indicators that there's money somewhere. Did their family own any businesses? And that's just through conversation, right? So tell me about yourself. Tell me about your family. And you go into it that way. But so those are some a few things that I want to know. And then aware of their age. I know what type of event happen at certain ages. I kind of relate it to my family. You know, my grandparents are at the age of retirement, 66 to 72, all the way to 77, and they're still living. So I've seen some of their life events happen. So I go looking for that with people. So people care about their friends and they care about their family and people love solving problems for other people and helping each other. Like it's easier for me to ask someone for help than it is an appointment. And typically I'll get an appointment by asking for the help. I'll say that, hey, can you help me with something and they'll say sure do you know anyone else that's in this same situation as you that maybe was paying in too much fees like we found with you or was over risked and they didn't know they were do you know anybody that would benefit from the income that you just started benefiting from and you can see them light up and that's when they want to help so typically that's how the referrals will come and what most people will do for me is reach out to them for me and edify me a bit and then give me their contact info and then give me the green light to call that's typically a lay it up on an appointment because you're just calling and saying, Hey, so and so told you about me, told you I'd call, and here I am. So, but those are, I'm really intentional about that conversation because, for one, I want to know because I want to help and I can't help if I don't know. So, I have to ask enough questions to know, right, to get those answers. So, I hope that helps. Yeah, that's, that's really good. So, when you do meet with them, what does that complexion of an appointment look like? Sound like you're just meeting yeah. them as a referral. What kinds of things that, I mean, it sounds like you could do the same thing with them, find out about with them, their family, their situation. You know, they know that you help them out, find, help their friend out financially. How do you start looking at ways that you can help them? Yeah, it's good. Depends on what type, what type of help they do need, of course. So if they have some retirement money and they're just wanting to set it somewhere, then there's ways that we can do that. We can help them with that. If they need liquidity, we have IULs for that if they're healthy. If they want to be in the market, of course, we can help them with those things as well for liquidity, for ease of access to their money. So I look for need like, hey, what, where's the need at? And then it's typically a longer appointment. I will say that because these are long conversations, especially if you get some talkers that want to talk about their families and their needs. And then I don't typically show them anything on that first time appointment. It is a bond and rapport and a relationship building because if they're going to give me 250, 500, 850, over a million dollars, I really need them to trust me and I really need them to know me. So they're interviewing me just as much as I am them, right? It's a mutual agreement on the relationship on the business together. So I will typically build the relationship, find the need on the first appointment. And then I'll tell them, listen, I need to go to work for you. And that's going to take me more than an evening. I've solved problems like this before, but I'm better if I have a little bit of time to look at it. Can I come back Thursday at 10 o'clock and maybe show you some things? Absolutely. And that's just for me to go back and make sure suitability, you know, I'm putting them in something that's suitable for them and to make sure I'm putting them in and the best product for their need. And then that Thursday appointment is, hey, here's what we have. And it's typically, let's get it done. That's cool. I think that- and that answered that. Yeah. Everyone has an opportunity to start a conversation with someone. If you don't have the expertise, we have the experts. Jonathan's yeah. helped so many agents with product choice and for their clients. And so we do have kind of in-house help. 
to help you with what to do for someone. You identify the opportunity, we will help you take care of them with the best product for them, right? So again, I get agents that tell me how great Jonathan is at helping them. In fact, we had a little leadership meeting, just a small group of some of the legacy managers. We're going to be teaching, in fact, I'm supposed to be in charge of it, getting our top financial people, like meaning uh, Jonathan, actually, you're on the list of people that, that know how to identify opportunities. And we're going to teach you how to find opportunities, particularly when you're looking at someone's asset picture. What's the biggest gap right now, we had this fantastic meeting on the cruise ship for the estate planning. I sent that out, I think on Slack, right? You guys got that? Yes. It was, I thought it was going to be an hour. It was almost two hours, like hour and 45 minutes. But there are some really cool stories that'll just blow you away. And so what we've decided to do is create a little more um, educational opportunity for you guys. When you look at an asset sheet and, you know, to figure out ways and strategies of what to do, some very important ways to help people. And like Jonathan Mecton IUL, and, you know, when people hear that, it's like, why? You're not supposed yeah. to do that. Well, you are if it's going to be the best thing for the client. Like everyone has kind of, so that's one of the reasons why they want me to do this because I got these strategies like split dollar strategies for business owners. Obviously, most of my tax strategies using life insurance are for business owners, but will still benefit people that have had high income. And so Johnson's going to be on there. Adam Burge on Adam Katz's team. This guy's been pretty incredible with what he's doing on estate planning. And of course, Bell Krause. So we're going to have Bell Krause on there. So we're going to have people teaching very specific how to's and what to look for type things. And then solutions, strategies that can help these clients out that will not only help them out in a big way, but will be huge in commissions. Like we're talking huge. Like some of these commissions are more than some of you make in a year on one sale, on one strategy. And so we'll be teaching that on a very comprehensive way. And like, how much was that? I forgot, Jonathan, on that Mac IUL. How much did that guy put in? Over 100,000? He put in 105,000. And how much life insurance did he buy with that? It bought him 318,000. Okay. So think of this. Yeah. You put 100,000. Do you want to give 100,000 to your family, which will then cause a taxable event in each one of their lives, which means they go into higher bracket tax wise for all their income, right? Look, you and I know that tax code is progressive. So the more you make, the more you pay. So at every level cutoff, you pay taxes on that amount. And then you earn higher, you pay t the higher tax on the next level. What happens when you give someone money is you're going to max them out on the income tax. Not only are they going to pay that the max level on that amount of income, but if there's anything else in that category, suffice it to say, they're going to be probably in the highest tax bracket for that money. So instead of like, let's say you're giving a hundred thousand dollars to two kids, you're gonna give them fifty thousand, and it bumps them into the thirty-seven percent tax bracket. Like, let's take thirty-seven thousand, thirty-seven percent of fifty thousand. I know I'm doing quick math here, but fifty thousand. That's half thirty-seven thousand. So what? Half of thirty is fifteen. Half of seven is six. Eighteen. Eighteen and a half percent. Right. Eighteen thousand five hundred. So you're gonna hit them with the tax bill of eighteen thousand five hundred. So they're not gonna get all of it. But why not do this, Joe and Mary? How about if if I show you, how would you like to give each one of your two children 150,000 tax free? So you tell me if which choice would you like to give your kids 31,500 after taxes or 150,000 tax free? Which do you think your kids would appreciate from you? And then you shut up. That's a real question. It's not a sarcastic question. It's a real question. Which would you like to do for your children? And then shut up, right? Everyone says, Mac, Mac, you can't do a Mac, Mac, you know, it's like the devil. It is not not. It depends on what they're looking for. And so when I mentioned it to the leaders, they were kind of like shocked. I'm going, dudes, you know, you've been in this thing as long as I have. You don't know that you can do this. It's nothing more than a single premium whole life. So we do have single premium whole life where some can dump in 30,000, depending on age, 30,000, and then in a whole life product, and they will get 60,000. And that sometimes it's not double. If they're younger, it could up to double. But if, you know, they might get 50,000 in a whole life. It's single premium whole life is nothing more because a single premium whole life is a mech. But no one says anything about a single premium whole life. So anyway, hey, that's Alex, the, go ahead. I had some guys at my brokerage firm that they wrote two different types of liquid accounts and they were either putting people in mutual funds, which were high fees. They averaged 3.25 a year in just sales charges and upfront 6%. So people had to pay a 6% upfront charge plus that, right? Wow. Or if people, if you found a client that wanted liquidity, but didn't want the market risk, you make an IUL because it gave them the same thing with less cost. I didn't have to charge them. The cost on most people, especially the healthy ones, the cost of the insurance was less than, than the, what the 
fees the brokerage the fees so it's a very normal practice and you know the difference is i never had an iul that had a 30-day access to cash yeah you know they had to wait a year so i had to convince people like you can't touch it for a year but if you're good with that then yeah it's good for you you know now it's like can you give it 30 days <laughs> it's just i know and so. to have access to a large amount if you do the enhanced cash value rider if they wanted to like there's was it your client also that wanted to do well it was not a mech iul but they wanted to put in a lot every year so they could have that no it was john Femiano's client i can't remember there was one of our clients that had someone that wanted to put like 50 grand a year into there so they could borrow the money out oh it was pablo Troncosa's client so they wanted to put in i think it was more like a hundred thousand a year in an iul so they could borrow the money out of it to fund real estate that's what it was so every year they put a hundred grand in it and then they borrowed it out to fund real estate and so when you're looking at some of these loan rates from iuls which typically are three percent or some small rate compared to rates now they basically are being their own bank they're borrowing it out they invested in a business or something that will turn greater than three percent like man you go to any kind of investment opportunity you're going to be able to do that arbitrage it's just the difference in, in interest rate and the cool thing about it is the money inside the iul continues to earn interest, you know, that's, right. that's the crazy thing. And then you could pay it off or you don't have to, you can continue to let that investment or that business earn money, which could be like earn money. So you can put that money back into the IUL for the next premium. So what you're doing is you're cascading every year, that premium that you're earning from whatever thing you invested in, it's insane what you can do. Then yeah. the other things with dynasty trusts. So we have access to be able to do dynasty trusts and dynasty trusts are ways that you can buy IULs for the family. And so the death benefit and IULs will go back into a dynasty trust. This is how you transfer wealth between generations paying zero taxes. And so that's what a dynasty trust does. So imagine, especially with wealthy people, people are business owners. How would you like to pass on generations and generations of wealth to future generations where they will not spend down the inheritance and the inheritance can grow? How do you do that? You do it through IULs. So you write all the kids up a big IUL, the parents have a big IUL, and it goes into a dynasty trust. And so so all this millions goes into the dynasty trust. The other cool thing about a dynasty trust is that it avoids estate taxes. So you can pass on wealth avoiding estate taxes, which I think are almost 50%, 55% above right now 1.7 million. But in 2026, it goes down to 5 million. So anything above 5 million is going to be taxed at almost a 55% rate. So that's what's crazy. But you write a whole family's worth of IULs. And so when the parents die, the dynasty trust gets the money and then the kids can benefit benefit from it, you have a trustee who's give the money out to the children. And then when the children die, the IUL, the, the dynasty trust receives the money death benefit to pay out to the grandchildren, right? And the grandchildren, you're immediately writing up IULs on them. And so the other thing about having a dynasty trust is that the IULs in there, you can borrow the money out to invest in things. It's insane. It's insane what rich people do, but you don't have to be rich to do this. We're working with a business owner right now that we're talking about this concept to him. He's down with it. He's got like four kids and he wants to be able to give his money to his children tax-free, but he doesn't want them spending down the inheritance. You know that the average inheritance is spent within 18 months of someone receiving it. Do you guys know that? 18 months is how long it lasts. You start talking to someone who's, you know, got some sense, they got some assets and you say, how would you like your children to spend down everything you give them in 18 months? Well, we don't want that. Well, the only thing, there are different things, vehicles we can use to help you do that. So do you know you guys have that opportunity with just a little bit of knowledge, you have that opportunity to be smart for your client because you have insurance licenses. Do you know that your insurance license is a license to serve people beyond what the average Joe out there can do? Like even beyond what a financial guy can do because you can bring up these opportunities that no one else is going to give them. No run of the mill final expense agents ever going to talk to them about this kind of stuff. But you, if you have a life insurance license, you can do all these crazy things that can help them way beyond if you knew them. Like I know I I've talked about, I have a video on this, on the strategy of when someone wants to, like for example, there are a lot of people that have parents that have paid their house off, right? Did you know that you can, here's a strategy, as long as it's a functional family, if it's a dysfunctional family, you don't want to do this. But I know I've talked about it on this call before. But let's say you have, uh, actually this is a real case. So there's this woman that was in her 70s, early 70s. She had a $200,000 home that she wanted to give to her son, who's a physician. And again, you want to give a house to your son, it's going to incur tax 
consequences, possibly. I'm not going to get into that. Or she could do all that. Or, ma'am, you could just give your house to your son. Do you guys understand? Like, you all could do that. You run into someone who, who has a parent that had their house paid off, assuming they have. I get riled up. I mean, my energy comes I always start talking about this stuff. You guys have the ability to do this. All of you, because you have a life insurance license, right? Split dollar. I could talk split dollar all day long for business owners that own a LLC S Corp, at least, or C Corp, for sure. Huge opportunity. Do split dollar. Split dollar is something you all can do. I had a guy in my business who wrote his brother as a physician. His uh, policy was like 200000 a, a year on a split dollar IUL. He was going to put in 200000 a year. The commission on that was 126000 and then he gets the renewals for the next 10 years. Do you imagine getting a, a deposit in your account for 126000 Like how long do you think it would take you at your current rate of making money with us to make 126000 Yeah, I know. Alex, I don't have a brother that's a physician. Well, you do you go to a physician? I can keep going, but you guys have acquaintances and friends that are people of all different types of occupations, you know, particularly if they're business owners, we can help them. You could help them, right? And like I said, imagine in one commission check, you can get what you made last year in insurance or, you know, 10 times what you made last year in insurance. These options are out there. And so we're going to put together a panel of people to teach you what you can do with your life insurance license when you're able to identify assets like this using simple life insurance vehicles that you all could write. Like right now, you could write a split dollar. Right now, you could do a MEC funded IUL right now. Does that make sense to anybody? Or am I talking way over your head? See, the problem is you think it's way over your head. But for Jonathan Earls, when he first got into insurance, he didn't know any of this crap. Right, Jonathan? Nothing. So in the Slack channel, I put in, you know, one of the books that we talked about um, in our leadership meeting, The New Retirement Savings Time Bomb by Ed Slot. And this is like a foundational book for financial literacy. There's there's like four books. I'm going to give you this one in the Slack channel, The New Retirement Savings Time Bomb by Ed Slot. Like if you're serious about wanting to be a professional in the business, look, I don't care if you want to grind out final expense sales the rest of your career. Here. I don't care. I'd, I'd love for you to do it if that's what you want to do. But if you want to start making what you make in a year on one sale, then you need to get smart and you can get smart. You're licensed to do it. It's like you have a driver's license. You can drive a Ferrari or you can drive whatever you're driving now. Just having access and knowing what how to you know shift the car to gear. But you all have that license to do it. Now it's just educating yourself. So I'm really wanting you guys to get smart on this stuff because you right now I know all of you know someone that you can do some of these really cool strategies with that no one has ever talked to them about. I promise you no one has ever told them about the thing about if their parents own a home. I promise you no one's ever told them about that. But those instances are out there. And in fact, there's an agent in Florida who has the record for writing insurance as a personal producer in the history of insurance. We're talking the last hundred years or so. This guy's written the most insurance of anyone, most. Like the number's astronomical and he's in Florida. And people come to him because he advertises this. Actually, it's this strategy I'm telling you about with the parents owning the home this is one of his strategies, but that's the majority strategy that he uses. And he sets people up with these high wells and he's written in the historic, the most insurance of any personal producer. So again, the difference is knowledge. Here's the thing about book reading. Oh man, I'm, I'm running out of gas here. But let me tell you this. Do you know that if you don't read books, it's no different than if you're illiterate. You can't read books. Can you imagine if you couldn't read, but you don't read? So if you don't read books, like we have the Eight Steps to Success book that I've offered, I've only had, I think, 10, 15 people. And I've already sent them out. So all of y'all that ordered it, like Tessa, I think you probably should have gotten it by now. And I added a bonus book, okay? So they, I've had people tell me they appreciate the bonus book too. The bonus book is along these lines. It's a financial literacy book. I think it's um, related to retirement and annuities. If you haven't ordered that yet for free, it's just shipping, seven bucks. I think that the books I sent out, one's 25 bucks, the other one's like made 10 or 15. Oh yeah, Adrian, Adrian got it. So you probably had worth 20, 35 bucks of books. It's going to make you millions for $7. I mean, come on. I'm just really surprised how many people have not taken advantage of it. It saddens me. You know, I was talking, coaching an agent today. I go, hey, did you order the book? He goes, I have not. Are you on my email blast? Yes, I am. He finally saw it and I go, okay, well, how many times has someone offered you knowledge for free? So again, I go back to not reading books is just like being illiterate. Thank God you were blessed with the ability to read. Now it's time to use that ability to read to get smart. So you can use your life insurance license instead of writing final expense the rest of your career, you can get smart. Nothing against final expense. I want you to keep writing because that's will keep the money coming in. I don't think you're going to get from any other agency you, you are, I, I'm 
pointing my finger. I hate doing that. I'm not going to point my finger. Sorry. I am not in any other agency going to get this kind of knowledge anywhere else except here. You go to FFL, you go to Equus, you go to family people, helping people, all the people that say they compete with us. I promise you, number one, they don't have estate planning. Number two, no one's going to teach you how to convert an asset sheet into helping a client so that you can get paid gobs and gobs of money. No one. I mean, if you quit, you're never going to get this strategies from anyone else. I promise you. Well, Alex, you obviously got it. Yeah, because I am associated with individuals who are smart in these things in other businesses that I'm involved in that have turned me on to people. See, it's the one thing that you're going to learn about specific wealth advice is that it's not like advertised on the internet. The top 10 ways of converting assets into commission. It's not going to be out there. I promise you. You got to go to specific people with specific knowledge and expertise. In fact, the specific people are the people that do the, the thing all the time. So the guy I'm telling you about that wrote the most in the history of insurance, this is the thing that this guy does all the freaking time. You know, then I'm going to another person who does split dollar all the time. We're getting together, hopefully, with a, oh, I'm not going to say, because I don't want this to get out for sure. I'll just tell you there are other opportunities out there that will get you smart on, but you're not going to get that anywhere else. No one's going to talk to you of this kind of crazy stuff that will help you. I promise you that, right? Very niche, very, very niche, but very effective. What's great about doing something niche and effective is that people will tell their friends because they've never heard it from anyone else except for you. And you don't have to be the expert. You just have to know a guy. Hey, hey, I know a guy that can help you out with this. How about if I hook you guys up? We'll be happy to help. You got the license, man. You have the ability to read. Now let's just, come on, man. Let's get going. Let's get this thing started, man. Let's get moving. People are doing it. Don't don't be left behind, all right? All right, that's about it, man. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate you uh, stepping it up and awesome. Okay, gang, I got to get off and I appreciate y'all. I mean, I want nothing more than to see you succeed. I really, really want to see you guys make it. And I don't want anyone to ever feel like, you know, you're wondering if this is going to work for you. This will work for you if you can hang in there long enough and let it work for you. But a lot of this is experiential. Like, you know, look, I, I didn't learn all this stuff when I first got in, you know, but I learned it after I got in because I was motivated on how I could help the agent out there make more money with what you're doing with identifying opportunities and you know thank god for guys like jonathan coming into our business that has really in you know open people's minds as to the different things you can do um, with our product line. You know, Jonathan has, has said on this call, when he got out of what he was doing before with the captive agency and he got with Alliance, a whole world of product options opened up to him. A whole world that was not available to him before. He comes into the Alliance and he's like a kid in a candy store. Wow, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this for clients. And he's just been going crazy. That's why he got on the cruise because he saw plenty of opportunities. Now the next stage is how do we get you smart on a identifying opportunities to take advantage of all these people out there don't know what to do with their money. And trust me, there's a lot of people out there. They may even have a guy. Problem is that guy's like kept them in their assets under management so they can keep earning their percentage off them where they make money or lose money. And they probably ought not to be in that. All their money should not be in that big bucket. So you guys are saving people from financial disasters, what you're doing. So if you got a hero complex like I have, and you want to be out there and save people, you're in a great business to do it. We've got the knowledge and experience to help you do it. You got the products available to do it and you got a license to do it now you got to use that ability to read and put stuff in your head by reading the right books so i hope i encourage you to get that book and start getting your way to you know being fi financially literate and being able to offer people opportunity to take advantage of these great things all right so thanks everybody i gotta get off here so god bless you all take care see ya